So recently I found myself having to edit a lot more stock photos. Um, so here's a few examples of the stock photos that I've seen uh, recently. Uh, but what we run into a lot of times when we have these stock photos, uh, we can't really do much with them in this state. So uh, I'm in Photoshop today and I'm going to just kind of go through a little bit of um, how we can sort of select different elements within these photos, pull them out, put them onto a new layer and um, do a little bit more with them, get a little bit more um, maybe depth, get a little bit more context, get a little bit more information in there uh, so that it ends up looking something similar to this. So you'll notice that we've got this individual, uh, we've got sort of a, a semi-transparent banner with some text. Uh, so you can see that this is where it started and this is where it ended up. And this is kind of the goal that we're going to have here over the next couple of videos. And I find myself doing things like this a lot more than I used to. And uh, there's a few good tools inside of Photoshop that help us do it. All right, so I just want to start off here and I'll start off with uh, this particular person here. So one of the first things that we have to do is we have to select this individual um, and make a copy of this uh, person in the foreground and put it on its own layer. With one of the newest releases of Photoshop, there's been this fantastic new tool under the Select tab up top and Select Subject. Now, it automatically guesses as best it can using its AI to, uh, to figure out what it is that we're looking for. And they've decided that this person and not the background is there. Now, is it perfect? No, not 100%. And you'll find that, that you might have to touch things up a little bit here and there. So once we have this, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to take this selection and add it to a new layer. And I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut, Control J, Control J. And what you're gonna see over here now in my layers, I can poke the eyeball next to that background. And now I have a really good cutout of this individual from that background. So let's take a look at this other option here. And we've got the same kind of thing happening here. So we've got this background. We want to go ahead and pull our chef out of the background. So once again, I'm going to go to select and I'm going to choose subject. It's going to automatically again, go ahead and grab this foreground subject out of the background for me. You can see we've got our marching ants around the outside. It's going to put it all together. And then once again, control J gives me that cutout um, that I could uh, then put a different background. We could use the same background, but now we have some options. So whether we wanted to put a banner, whether we wanted to add a couple more chefs, whether we wanted to do, you know, it just gives us a little bit more flexibility in our design. So one last time, we'll go ahead and grab subject from that very first example that I showed. Um, we can go to select and subject and uh, it will, uh, guess pretty good. Uh, one of the things that you run into though is that with all selections you're going to find that fine tuning hair selections uh, can be tricky. So we'll go ahead and control J and it gives us that new layer and we now have our subject removed from the background uh, that we can start working with. And in our next video we'll go ahead and take a look at um, how we can start to add some different layers and effects so that we take this and we end up with something like this.